Canberra. It's my home. I've lived here the longest of anywhere that I've lived. I'm from the UK originally. I, I was born in Ireland, lived in England. Dad was defense, so we, we moved around a lot. But um, Canberra, I've lived in for almost 11 years, uh, which, which is mind blowing. I'm 20 years old. It's something that you don't really actually hear about. Uh, I've lived in Canberra for about 11 years. I was born in Adelaide and I lived in North Queensland for a brief period of time. I have lived in Canberra since I was nine, so 11 years. I have lived in Canberra for 20 years. Yes. I am 20. It is my entire life, yes. When we first moved here, um, I remember we, we were staying in Kingston. We were in this really old apartment, but I just remember the, the life in Kingston going. Like, you had this mix of suburban, but but it was weird. You had trees everywhere. Like, it was it was this mix of, of suburban buildings, of like a culture, but then you also had nature kind of overtaking, kind of a blend of them. And I remember we went to this restaurant there. God help me if I remember the name of it, but um, yeah, we went to this restaurant. I remember I had a chicken schnitzel. It was great chicken schnitzel. It was the first one I ever had in this, um, here in Canberra, and it was pretty great. But uh, that, that, it, was, it was a great night because I remember uh, that was the night that we decided that we were going to get our dogs. Um, which is something that we'd never really considered until we moved to Canberra. So, so for me, that was really exciting. For me, Canberra is like every other city and no other city. It is an amalgamation of contradictions, let's say that. The way that it um, pioneers certain ideas, it also contradicts them quite frequently. So Canberra pioneers being a city of art, um, especially with the planning of Canberra, and then you have the most ugly sculptures I've ever seen, ever. I mean, I went to a lot of parks as a kid, like a lot of playgrounds and climbed trees and was outdoors. So Canberra is quite nice outdoors because there's lots of stuff to do. Um, when you're a kid, when you're a bit older, it's less so. But as a kid, it, it, it was great being having like lots of playgrounds and having friends that you could go down and go down to the reserve and throw rocks at each other. And it was good. Oh, it's pretty good because you can always escape the suburban area, get to the nature, like go to Cotter, go to um, Sutton. Everything's close by as well, like other national parks, a bunch of other places as well. As you know, as the capital of Australia, it's good to have every culture makes Canberra just a Canberra and Australia just a nice multicultural area for the world. I don't know if I can bring it down to one specific moment, but pretty much like bushwalking in Canberra and all the nature reserve and stuff around. Nothing but good memories there. I think being, there being such a heavy government presence, there's a lot of jobs um, and there's a lot of sort of gateway for uh, immigration and things like that. There's a lot of embassies, consulates and things like that and it tends to bring a lot of people from overseas to Canberra. The north side south side rivalry tends to bind the north side and the south side together but separately in their own little ways. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I think it's unlike a lot of other cities and it's great but it's also frustrating because you get um, people who just refuse to go to the other side of town to do something like go see a play or meet up with a friend because they live across a lake. Uh, north side is fantastic, south side is less so because everyone just gets stabbed. If you go to south side you will be stabbed, it is just a fact. It's where all the knives live in south side. They mainly live in ribs and backs and the odd leg, just people stab people in the south side. Do I believe in the north and south side rivalry? Yes, I'm a north sider. I mean, we, we've got Belcon and we've got Ngarn, we've got the city even. What does Tarragong have? Pond. Skate park. A dock. Partially just the community of Canberra binds itself together just because it is so small. It's pretty difficult to meet someone that you don't have a mutual connection with or uh, you've never met or I, I like from especially in recent years I've been involved in a lot of stuff where I've been talking to people and I realized that we have lots of mutual friends or we're like 
we don't know how we've not met each other because we know so many people of similar industries and demographics and whatnot. So it's interesting how that somewhere with a relatively large population still always feels like you're connected to the people around you. I think there's a nice balance between suburban and nature. Um, I think that's one of the great things about Canberra is you can be in the city and you walk like five minutes and you're suddenly surrounded by bush. It's amazing. Um, and like in terms of practicality, it's great because it um, it makes the city, well firstly it makes the city more aesthetic, um, but then it also acts as a cover. Um, there are stories from, I can't remember which World War, World War II maybe, of um, planes flying over Canberra and they couldn't actually find Canberra because there's so many trees. Uh, but I think it's also really lovely just to have so many aspects of nature integrated into the city. It's really nice. You know, one, one of the names that really always interested me uh, about the Aboriginal language was the original name for Canberra, uh, which, is, which is based off, which is Canberry. Canberry means meeting place, and Canberra to me is exactly that. Canberra is this hub. It's, it's where Parliament meets, which is why it's so fitting. It's where everyone comes at some stage. I think one of the alluring things about Canberra is that it's not like any other city. You've got your main city, you've got all your buildings, you've got your infrastructure, you've got all your jobs um, for public servants and everything. But I think the great thing about it is that you've just got landscape filling out the rest of the area. It's a blend of, of nature. So like we've got Lake Burley Griffin, you've got Yerby Pond, um, you've got Lake Ginandera as well. All situated in this one area. Like it, you don't get that anywhere else. You don't get that in Sydney. Sydney's just, uh, it's on the shore, yeah. But it's just a city. I guess there's like Hyde Park and everything, but I mean Canberra, it really brings home that essence of nature. It's better. Full stop. No, um, <laughs> I think Canberra, it's a really interesting mix of, like you get the big kind of city and, and uh, like CBD kind of environment. But you also get like little aspects of kind of like country towns and, and not like the bustlingness of a major city. Um, and it's basically, it's like if, if Sydney or Melbourne had like a, a baby, it's like a small version of them in a sense where you still get a lot of the things from the city, but it's also very, um, very much like a country town in that it's small and the community feels much more close and much more interlinked than something like a big bustling city. The first thing, um is Canberra is the only city I can find where it's a big city and everything's convenient but you can also live like 20 minutes out and still be rural. Number two, my friends are in Canberra so I can't be bothered to go anywhere else. Um, but I kind of, the culture that we've built up in Canberra, I kind of like the community um, or aspects of it at least. So that's kind of why I stayed. And also, personally, Canberra is excelling at the moment in amateur theatre and it's super easy to get involved. So it's an easy place to, um, yeah, become involved in the industry before making it big and going somewhere else. Would I stay in Canberra for the rest of my life? Maybe. I mean, for me, I it depends on where life takes me. But if life wants me to stay in Canberra, life wants me to stay in Canberra. I love Canberra. It's. Like to me, there's nothing else quite like the community here. Like the way that we kind of come together over anything, um, whether it's a political debate, because we are the political people, um, or even if it's just a disaster. I, I think it's, it, it's a vital thing how Canberrans come together. It kind of helps enforce who we are as a people. Nothing else quite like it. <laughs>